essence of my existence is excellence in performance. She's got the voice that conquered the world. Yes, a world to rediscover. But I'm not in any hurry. And I need a moment. Broadway Diva. Lay us a longer. The whispered conversation. Multiple award-winning actress and singer Leia Salonga is renowned across the world for her powerful voice and perfect pitch. She is best known for her Tony award-winning role in Miss Saigon. In addition to the Tony, she has won the Olivier, Drama Desk, Outer Critics Circle and Theatre World Awards, in the field of musical theatre. She was also the first Asian to play Eponine in the musical Les Miserables on Broadway and returned to the beloved show as Fantine in the 2006 revival. Many fans of all ages recognize Leia as the singing voice of Princess Jasmine from Aladdin and Far Mulan, for Mulan, and Mulan 2. For her portrayal of the beloved princesses, the Walt Disney Company bestowed her with the honor of Disney legend. But it's, it's my destiny. Big word. But it's true. My daddy says the essence of my existence is excellence in performance. Wow. What about you? The essence of your existence is excellence in performance? Yes, and someday I hope to be a real star so I can have lots of money. What do you know about money? You're only nine. I know about money. Oh? But money isn't everything. It's not the most important thing in the whole world. I know that, but what then is the most important thing in the whole wide world? <laughs> well, when you're uh, 14, I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, first, I'd like to... Why don't we get the names from the smallest to the biggest? Yes. Okay. Tell us how old you are. Five. Five? Where do you go to school? I S. I S. Angela. What is your name? Angela. Angela. Adam. Angela. I beg your pardon. Adam. 
Adams, Angela Adams. The next child, she's the alternate. You're supposed to be Gretel, and she's supposed to be Gretel too on alternate days, right? Yes. May we have your name, please, little young lady? I'm Janina Avila. Where are you studying? I'm studying in Colleo San Agustin. Grade? Three. Grade three. The next child is? Monica Ann Wilson. And what role do you play here? Martha. Martha. You're Martha. How old are you? Ten. Ten. The next lady? Leia Salonga. Of course, Leia Annie. Salonga. Annie herself. How old are you now, Annie? Nine. Nine. What role do you play? Brigitta. Brigitta. What song will you sing in this uh, play? The All the songs of the children, right? Yes. Right. And then the next handsome Tabatsui. <laughs> Where are you name? Uh, Javier Arriaga. Where are you studying, Javier? Colorado San Agustin. How young are you, Javier? Fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> very shy, Pastor. Uh, very shy. <laughs> Para sinabi niya fourteen, sayang, very young. <laughs> now, dadating tayo sa mga teenagers. And then, Say na, Eddie. the young lady? I'm Lisa Ontiveros. I'm 14 years old and I'm studying at St. Scholastica's College, Manila. Ontiveros, uh, that's uh, a very familiar name on stage. Are you, do you belong to the Ontiveros clan? That, uh, with Maan. Yeah, of course, Maan uh, dominates the scene these yes. days. How are you with Maan? I'm fine. We're, we're, we're close, are you, we're friends. You're, you're friends with Maan, Ontiveros? Um, we're first cousins. Ayod. And they are very close. They are good friends and cousins. And you are? I'm Raymond Lauchenko. I'm 14 and I study at Letran. Letran? Bah, from all schools ito. San Agustin, International School, International School. Kasi nag-audition sila lahat niyan eh. Nag-audition siguro, you know. And your role? Friedrich. Mm -hmm. And you are? Mencho Lauchenko. I'm 17. I'm from St. Scholastica's first year college. You are 16. 17 going on 18. <laughs> She acted in films, which included the family oriented. Tropengulilid, Like Father Like Son, Ninja Kids, Captain Barbell and Pick Pack Boom. As a young performer, Salonga received a Filipino Academy of Movie Arts and Sciences Award nomination for Best Child Actress and three Ali Awards for Best Child Performer in 1980, 1981 and 1982. You shut up now, I'm getting mad. During the 1980s, Salonga also had several television projects through GMA Radio Television Arts where she worked as a child actor. After the success of her first album, from 1983 to 1985, she hosted her own musical television show, Love, Leia, and was a member of the cast of German Marino's teen variety show That's Entertainment. Leia is the second album by Leia Salonga, 
presenting a dance herbal R&B sound. The album received favorable reviews for its diverse mix of American-style R&B and easy-listening ballads, and became her first multi-platinum album. She finished her secondary education in 1988 at the OB Montessori Center in Greenhill, San Juan. She also attended the University of the Philippines College of Music's extension program aimed at training musically talented children in music and stage movement. A college freshman studying biology at the Atenea de Manila University when she auditioned for Miss Saigon, she intended to have a medical career. In 1989 Salonga was selected to play Kim in the debut production of the musical Miss Saigon in London. Unable to find a strong enough East Asian actress-singer in the United Kingdom, the producers scoured many countries looking for the lead. For her audition, the then 17-year-old Salonga chose to sing Bubble and Claude Michel Schoenberg's On My Own from Les Mis, and was later asked to sing Sun and Moon, impressing the audition panel. Salonga has sometimes credited On My Own as the starting point of her international career. She competed for the role with childhood friend and fellow repertory Philippines performer Monique Wilson. Salonga won the lead role, while Wilson was named her understudy and given the role of the bar girl Mimi. Hello. Before we start, I could want to ask a favor of you, please. What? Could you autograph this one? This foot? Oh, right. You understand it? Mm. For Lea is on time now. Mm. For Lea, who is very talented. Thank you. So, mm. I have no more. I will teach you the first song. This one. It's a duet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sing the boy part. It's Chris. And you will be Kim. Okay. Alright? Okay. So I start. Mm.
asking as little as you can. Little snip of a little man. I know I'd give my life for you. you well, they said it was there was going to be an assessment. Um, they were going to make us work, I think. We were going to learn more songs from, from the show, Miss Saigon. They wanted Saigon. to see us again. They wanted to see us, I think, on how we looked on the stage. And That's about they, it. they were they pretty vague. They weren't touching us anything. <laughs> I mean, just uh, this might this might be it, it, it might end up sounding like Rossini or something, but but we just have to. Do, I'm going to give you a wail every time, okay? <laughs> has produced such Broadway hits as Cat, Phantom of the Opera, and Les Miserables. Last weekend, Macintosh concluded worldwide auditions here in the Philippines. Macintosh was accompanied by lyricist Alain Boublin and composer Claude Michel Schomburg. Miss Saigon is a trio's second collaborative project. The highly successful Les Miserables was the first. <laughs> Lea Salonga will play the title role of Kim in Miss Saigon. I was excited, nervous. Um, when I was finally told that I was going to London for the final assessment, I went, wow, this is really great. Um, so when we went to, to London for the final assessment, and when they told us that we were going to have Kim, speechless, I was petrified. I was, um, I don't know, I, was most, I couldn't say anything. My heart did I leap out of my chest. Monique Wilson was also brought to London for final audition. Really, oh God. And then they say, oh, we want you to be one of our kids. Congratulations. We want to see you next year. Come and join our original cast. I was like, <sighs> I could, you know, I, was, I wanted to cry and shout at the same time, but I couldn't even express myself. Ironically, the two who vied for the lead chose the same audition song. When he sang the same song, she told us. <laughs> we both sang the same song, so... By, by choice or by... By choice. But 
pure coincidence. You know, we, we didn't expect, I didn't know what she was going to say. I walk with him so morning, without him, I feel his arms around me. And when I leave my way, I close my eyes and he has found me. On My Own is from Les Miserables, composed and written by Sean Berg and Bobby. There's a place where life still has worth I will take you I'll go with you You won't believe all the things you'll see I know cause you'll see them all with me If we're together that's when We'll hear it again So A crazy sound, a lonely sound A cry that tells us love goes on and on Laid on a solo saxophone It's telling me to hold you tight And dance like it's the last night of the world Stay with me and 
the last night of the Lawrence Olivier para sa kanyang performance of Patricia Hodge, a Noel and Dirty at the comedy. Lea Salonga for Miss Saigon at the Theatre Royal Dory Lane. Winner is Lea Salonga. Is she happy? Captain McIntosh, the producer of Miss Saigon and his creative team, found Lea after their search took us to New York, Los Angeles, Honolulu, and to Manila in the Philippines. That is where Lea Salonga made her debut at the age of seven. Oh! Oh, my God. Um, oh, well, I don't believe it. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank the good Lord for oh, blessing me with so much. We really cried, because um, I think there's never been anybody who's won an Olivier Award, even a Tony Award, actually. Um, na Filipino. Siyempre, in those kind of situations, you feel very nationalistic and um, the success of one is the success of all. Ganun talaga, it's almost like a team spirit. In 1990, Salonga received a Presidential Award of Merit from President Corazon Aquino. House, New York, nag-ano na kayo, mga special previews. And we've already started previews. Nagumpisa na mga previews since March 23. Para na ring show. Pero before each preview, there's a rehearsal. Change what did not work the night before. Papalitan, may babago, may susubok. So I'm gonna try something out. Tapos, if it doesn't work, go back to and tell the director thanks of something else. So, bale, talagang the show will be frozen, so to speak. Pag opening na onward. Bale. Kamusta ang audience dito? Mas mahirap ba silang i-please kesa sa... London. I really don't know. I think whichever audience you perform for, basta magaling ka, they'll really respond to you naman eh. Kung talagang hindi ka magaling, de, hindi. Ganun, ganun lang. Pero sa April 11 pa talaga ang regular show nito. Yes, April 11. And I understand sa April 11 may mga celebrities daw na darating. I don't know if there are any celebrities coming sa April 11, but I think sa previews meron ang mga dumarating. But we don't see them though, but we know that they're there. Wala pa mga reviews, no? Sa April 11 pa dito. April 11, sa April 12 lalabas. So far, yung mga kasama mo dito sa play, no? Iba na rin, syempre, sa London. Kamusta ang pagtanggap nila sa'yo? Maganda naman. Yeah, very, very nice. The teamwork of the whole cast is amazing. Talagang, from the first day, parang matagal na kayong magkakilala. You eat together, you talk with each other. Um, we all get along really, really well. It's like a big family. It's a great team. Ibig sabihin, hindi pa enough yung rehearsal at yung mga ginawa mo sa London. Iba pa itong sa Amerika na paulit-ulit mga ginagawa. Mm-hmm. Nandiyan pa rin. But I don't do as much because I have an alternate now here who does a lot of the work too. Maraming nang sasabi niya, yeah. Sa mga kinukuha ang energy mo? Um, I'm a vegetarian. I don't smoke. I don't drink. <laughs> um, I don't go out too much. I just try to stay healthy for this. Ang mami mo ba hindi napapagod naman? Siya napapagod eh. <laughs> Siya yata ang um, in charge sa lahat ng uh, schedule mo, ng everything. Well, actually, things are pretty much laid out for me already. She just makes sure that that I'm healthy enough to go to the theater, to go to work every day. She just makes sure that I'm alright. Hanggang kailan ba ang performance mo dito sa New York? Um, Sige, tuma a while. Kasi may tumatagal dito ng five years seven years. Ewan ko, depende yun sa equity, but I think I'll be here for around a year. Kamusta naman ang boss sa Malaya? It's fine. It's holding up. It's just stronger than it was when it was in London. Kasi yung mga Filipinos na nakapanood, nagugulat sila dahil hindi daw nagbabago yung projection ng bosses mo. Parang habang tumatagal towards the end ng show, lalong lumalakas. That's a good sign. That's good. I'm doing a good job then. 
bata wala ang walang butterflies at all sa stomach mo? Oh yeah, there are. You know, you get nervous before you show because you don't know what's what's out there. You don't know how the audience is going to respond. Plus with all the controversy that Miss that Miss Saigon went through here, no? So So hindi mo talaga alam kung kung paano sila kung kung magugustuhan nila yung 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 show that particular night like one night maybe the audience will be very bad and one night the audience will be really good you know but still the performance will still have to be a one so far sa nababalita ako naman nagugulat ang mga kanino sa performance mo bakit kaya <laughs> napakaliit mo raw pero ang bosses mo daw parang ang galing sa isang malaking tao that's good that's good and what do you do when you're not uh, playing sa Broadway When I'm not playing Broadway, I exercise I'm like mad. Um, sometimes do aerobics, do taper, do calinetics when I'm here. Um, fix my bills, check my papers and stuff. Um, read magazines, play with my Game Boy. Um, my brother's here, so we were playing cards earlier. Um, I don't really do much. I don't go shopping a lot until I feel the urge to just go out and, and do something. May ba ang Filipinos na nanonood sa play? And uh, ini-entertain mo ba sila backstage or backstage pagkatapos ng nagpapapirma, hindi ba? Opo, nagpapapirma po. Outside of the stage door. Kasi kiniklabutan daw po mga Filipinos pag uh, di kayo naano rin sila, baka pumiyok ka, sila ang ninenervous daw for you, sila ang natitense for you. Yeah, well, well, I probably feel it because um, kasi parang madami daw nagdadasal. My mom's one of them. Um, during the show or before the show. Tapos parang we, we feel that it just, the energy just comes out from there somewhere. So, matatagal ang ka bumalik sa atin? Matagal. Matagal. A very long time before I go home. Mukhang you don't feel, uh, you don't feel na parang mas, parang mas masaya ka pag nasa ibang bansa ka. Parang ayaw mo sa atin. Ano <laughs> feeling na nakukuha nila? I'm excited to be here. It's my first time here. In New York. Yeah. Meron ka bang message sa mga kaibigan mo sa Pilipinas? Sa mga nagmamahal sa'yo sa Pilipinas. Sa mga naiwanan mong nagmamahal sa'yo sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Sa mga naiwanan mo. Sa mga naiwanan ko, daw. Um, to all my friends back home, I'd like to just say hi. And if I hadn't written in a while, then I will. Um, I really miss you guys back home. And I hope you won't stop praying for us over here. Marami kami mga Pinoy dito. You probably, if you have any relatives in this list, I'm just trying to to think. Um, we've got an Annette Kalud in the cast. A Merla Criste. Raquel Brown, yung kajuwit ni Gina Padilla sa Let the Love Begin is in the show. Yes? So Gina, she's here and she says hi. She sends her love. Um, sino pa? Ray Monsantos, Zar Akayan, Alan Ariano, real name is Aureliano, Tony Avanti. Madami kami mga Pinoy rito sa, sa show. And, um, ah, meron pa. Pinky De Los Reyes. What else? We're, we're a lot. We're a lot. Um, Barry Bernal, who is also one of the lead players in the show. So, dalawa kami Pinoy. So, London is a the principal. Now it's now we're now we're two, and it's good. And magagaling mga Pinoy. You guys would be proud of them. No special, no special hello to somebody special. There ain't no one special back home. Because <laughs> he goes to New York. Maybe my fortunes might change over here. I don't know. I'm, If it comes, it comes well, you know, but, but, wala akong naiwang special someone, quote unquote, in Manila. I made sure of that, that I didn't leave anybody. The last of tonight's nominated musicals is Miss Saigon. A smash hit in London that quietly tiptoed into New York this spring. <laughs> With an advance ticket sale almost equal to the British nat national debt. <laughs> And only slightly more front page coverage than General Schwarzkopf. <coughs> I say that again, Schwarzkopf. <laughs> It helps to clear the throat. <laughs> Set in Saigon during the last harrowing days of the Vietnam War, Miss Saigon is an extraordinarily powerful piece of modern musical theatre. Here, with Tony nominees Leia Salonga, Jonathan Price, Willie Falk and Hinton Battle, Miss Saigon. Oh, sex. 
touch him, don't touch my boy. He's one drop of blood, left in a taint of blood. Our very blood was born. You're forget that he was born. There it moves where I stand. I feel the turning of the wheel. For 10% down. The American The nominees for Best Performance by a Leading Actress in a Musical are June Angela, Shogun the Musical. <laughs> Dee Hody, The Will Rogers Follies. <laughs> Kathy Rigby, Peter Pan. <laughs> Leia Salonga, Miss Saigon. And the Tony Award goes to Leia Salonga, Miss Saigon. This can't be for real. I remember watching these on TV when I was a little girl in Manila, and this, this, this can't be real. I'd like to first of all thank God for all of his blessings. I'd also like to thank Actors' Equity for, <laughs> for giving me the chance to come here to the United States. Um, you guys have been so great. I'd like to also thank Cameron, Elaine, Claude Michel, Richard, Nick. You guys gave me the chance to do this role, and I thank you. I'd also like to thank my family, my mom up in the mezzanine, my brother down here in the orchestra. Hi, guys. You guys have been the most supportive. And to the entire cast and crew of Miss Saigon, um, you guys are the greatest people anybody could ever work with. And this also goes to everybody back home who dreams of winning a Tony. Well, I got one, and the dream can come true for someone else, too. Thanks a lot. God bless. In the spring of 1991, Julia Roberts graced the cover of People magazine's special issue featuring its annual list of the 50 most beautiful people in the world. Together with Julia Roberts in this ultimate list of the most beautiful people were Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, Madonna, Mel Gibson, Whitney Houston, Michelle Fifa, Isabella Rossellini, supermodels Claudia Schiffer and Naomi Campbell, and a Filipina. The last time Americans were treated to the singing of a Filipino woman, they got Imelda Marcos, Sheilas in Hawaiian exile, Warburn Don't Fence Me in on 60 Minutes. But on opening night of Miss Saigon's long-awaited run on Broadway, Salonga showed the pipes and pathos that had made her a star in her native Manila and raised her above the 1,200 other aspiring Saigon auditioners. A vegetarian and a devout Catholic, she lists the Virgin Mary as her most beautiful person. Until Salonga began rehearsals in London in 1989 for her role as the Vietnamese lover of an American GI, she had never been kissed in earnest. She still dates only with a chaperone, usually her mother, Joy, known around the theater as Mrs. Saigon. The first movie of Leia Salonga in the Philippines, after her Miss Saigon stint, it was an acid test if Salonga has the acting ability that Filipino critics are demanding. The Tony Awardee did not win any awards for this movie, but her two leading men grabbed major awards. 
Aga Milach won the Best Actor in the 1992 MMFF, while singer Ariel Rivera, in his movie debut, grabbed the 1992 MMFF Best Supporting Actor Award. The movie is produced by Octo Arts, the same company that produced Leia Salonga's 1988 self-titled album. Pinagsama ang tatlong naglalakihang bituin sa isang hindi malilimutang kasaysayan ng pag-ibig. Ba't kayo late? Ay, ano ko, habang si Toya. Importante, nandito na kami. Siya nga pala, si Tommy. Hi. So, finally, nakilala na rin kita. Tulas ka na may kwento sa akin ni Dave. Tingnan mo, di ba ako pinapakilala rito sa drama na pala ako? Siya ang pinakapatang naging Best Actor Awardee sa bansa. Si Aga Mula. Ang kilabot ng mga kolehyala, si Ariel Rivera at ang original na Miss Saigon, si Leia Salonga. Inihando ng Octo Arts Films, bakit labis kitang mahal? Mabait naman siya. Napaka-dinumero lang. At nakatangka pa ba kung bakit gusto ko siyang pakasalan? Magpapakasal ka na? Para kang mami ko. Salita ko, parang mamatay na ako. <laughs> Hindi kasi ang pagpapakasal din. One form of suicide niya. Bakit na? Let's be asin mo. Yung kinakapatid mo. It's Tommy. Bakit? Kala ko abnormal case yun eh. Baka matino naman. Swerte mo pala sa Andy. Hindi mo kinailangan daanan yung mga naranasan mo sa buhay. into a really big studio in New York City with a full orchestra, about 75 to 80 pieces. And that was just wonderful. I looked at storyboards, the director had brought storyboards, and they really emphasized putting emotion in the voice, you know, because they were going to animate to that, and they really couldn't see our faces. So I'm just trying to picture flying, you know, and I just try to sound happy. <laughs> Emissary from Port of Burma. He bring present to King from Prince of Burma. Her name is Top Team. That girl is a present for King. Martin was was a great colleague of mine on Gandhi. And we just thought it was appropriate to ask him. And he came in and, and, and delivered his two or three lines beautifully. With her. I thought they wanted me to sing. <laughs> he is pleased with me, my lord and master. Declares he's pleased with me. What does he mean? What does he know of me? Master, when he has looked at me. 
there for a second, sir. The question I have for you is, are you close to being out of breath by this moment? Almost, bit, but almost. not quite. Because there can be any number of reasons why um, we're asked to take a breath in certain places, so it's not totally up to us. It isn't just because we're out of breath, but um, because sometimes it's needed in, in, in tune with the feeling of the song and what the song's about. country we have a far different attitude we believe that for a man to be truly happy he must love one woman and one woman only this idea was invented by a woman oh but it's a beautiful idea and in England we're brought up with it and by the time a young girl goes to her first dance young girl they dance also like I see tonight in arms of man not her husband why of course I would not permit but you do expect women to be faithful. Naturally. Why naturally? Because it is natural. It is like old Siamese rhyme. A girl must be like a blossom with honey for just one man. A man must live like honeybee and gather all he can to fly from blossom to blossom. A honeybee must be free, but Blossom must not ever fly from bee to bee to bee. That's the best one. That's the best one. Yes, yeah, The Academy nominates five songs written especially for the films in which they appear. The first nominated original song is a ballad, A Whole New World, from Aladdin, which is Arabic for Robin. To perform it are the two stars who are the singing voices for the animated characters, Brad Kane and the star of Miss Saigon, Leia Salonga.
1993, Salonga played the role of Eponine in the Broadway production of Le Miss. song goes to Alan Menken and Tim Rice for a whole new world from Aladdin. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank everybody in the Academy who voted for me, especially Alan. And I'd like to pay tribute to two great lyricists. One, of course, is Howard Ashman. I'm extremely lucky to be standing in his shoes. I know he'd be here today if he was still alive. And the other is the great Sammy Khan, who was my inspiration for many years. And it's, and it's great to be working with Alan, and my thanks to everybody at Disney. A couple thanks. Thanks to Leia Salonga and Brad Kane, and thanks to Peebo Bryson and Regina Bell, and of course Walter Afanasyev and Robbie Buchanan for creating a beautiful record. And thank you, Chris Montan, for never giving up on this song. Thank you. Leia Salonga is the third studio album by the Filipino Broadway pop singer, Leia Salonga. It was her first album to receive an international release in 1993 through Atlantic Records, making her the first Filipino singer to be signed on an international record label. The album peaked at number 25 on the Billboard Heatseekers albums, making Salonga the first Filipino to break onto the American chart. In 1994, Salonga played in various musical theatre productions in the Philippines and Singapore, such as Sandy in Greece, Eliza Doolittle in My Fair Lady, and The Witch in Into the Woods. Yeah. 
Pulitzer Prize winning playwright Lanford Wilson. She lived in a shining world of family and fame. Jerry played brilliantly tonight. Me and Julia have a daughter to be proud of. We had nothing to do with it. Adoption's a roll of the dice. I am very grateful. I appreciate everything you've ever done for me. But haunted by her distant past. None of it tells me who I am. Do you know who my real father is? She will be drawn to a dark and different world. I want to know about those men who live in the forest. Because? I'm adopted. My mother's Vietnamese and my father's American. To uncover the secret of where she came from. I suggest you stay away from the forest. Some of those men are dangerous. You leave me alone. I'm afraid I can't. She must unlock the truth of who she will become. She's developed this obsession with you know, finding her real father. I don't know what to do about it. You're looking for a father. I ain't your father. Then who are you? Why won't you just admit? I got nothing to admit! Nothing! Jeff Daniels of Speed, Dumb and Dumber, and Terms of Endearment. John Lithgow of Raising Cain, The Pelican Brief, and Cliffhanger. Leia Salonga, winner of the Tony for Miss Saigon, and singer of Aladdin's award-winning song, A Whole New World, and Deborah Monk of Bridges of Madison County and Quiz Show. Redwood Curtain, from the Hallmark Hall of Fame. Critically acclaimed film won one award at the Famous Awards, and was nominated for four, including Best Picture, Best Screenplay, and Best Actor and Actress for Leia Salonga and Aga Mulach. It also received six wins at the Board Urian Award, including Best Picture and Best Screenplay and was also nominated for six categories. The film also won three awards and was nominated for four at the Lunar Awards, which was then known as the FAP Awards.
In 1995, she recorded the single How Wonderful We Are, with Peebo Bryson, for Disney's special feature People, a musical celebration of diversity. Ladies and gentlemen, Singapore invites you to a star-studded evening with an international cast of performing artists. From the United Kingdom, Sarah Brightman, the People's Republic of China, Liu Xiaoqing, the Philippines, Leia Salonga, India, Sharon Prabhakar, Malaysia, Fauzia Latif, Singapore, Zoe Tay, and Anita Zarawa, and the united rhythms of international drum groups. And now, from the island of Sentosa, the Television Corporation of Singapore proudly presents One, the WTO Show. Our final song, One, is specially composed by Singapore's award-winning songwriter and international composer Dick Lee, arranged by Iskander Ismail, with lyrics by Singaporean television scriptwriter Mingus. Ladies and gentlemen, a final salute to a world where we've begun to believe as one. From this moment we are hoping that our time will never end. But if there are trials, at least you're still a friend. Though the land and seas divide us, we are bound by a common end. Building hopes and dreams together while we can. There's a purpose to our future where we don't see black or white, but the just other's heart so that we can work together understood and unified breaking down the walls that keep our world apart when we fight that tomorrow is our own and we walk in love alone but united and in harmony
1996, Salonga was in Les Mis once again as Eponine, in the London production of the musical, then continued on to perform the role in the musical's US national tour. From 1997 to 2000, Salonga did recordings and concerts in the Philippines and another engagement in London, in addition to a few returns to Miss Saigon in London and on Broadway. In 1997, she released I'd Like to Teach the World to Sing, recordings from her childhood days, to gold sales in the Philippines. That recording was followed by Leia, in Love, in 1998, and by Heart, in 2000, with both albums reaching multiple platinum status in the Philippines. In 1998, she again lent her voice to a major Disney animated film, singing the title character in Mulan, also providing the character's singing voice in the 2004 sequel, Mulan 2. At the age of 28, Salonga moved to New York City, purchasing her own apartment. See that? Now I see that if I Leia Salonga provided the singing voice for Mulan. Mulan is this young girl. She's no weakling. She's somebody who will take matters into her own hands and, and do what she has to do to make things right. Hey guys, I've got an idea. In terms of the voice, the orchestra will set the mood for the songs that I'm doing. And that sort of just carries you off to another place. And once you're like singing with these 80 pieces that are all just somehow gelling together as one massive unit, People don't understand the high that you get. It's nirvana. When will my reflection show who I am inside? Brought Mulan to life. A specific word. And then we get to the record day. You have a 65 piece orchestra. In the song Reflection, you have Leia Salonga, who has a beautiful voice, and they're singing to the orchestra, and chills run up and down your, your spine. And so everything starts to come together. You get the final, the final lyrics, the final voice, the final orchestra. She participated in the tribute concert to Sir Cameron Mackintosh in London called Hey Mr. Producer, the musical world of Cameron Mackintosh, where she did numbers from several of his musicals.
She also performed in four concerts, the Homecoming Concert, the Millennium Concert, the Best of Manila and Songs from the Screen, the last two being benefit shows. Salonga returned to Manila in Miss Saigon, staged at the Cultural Center of the Philippines at the end of 2000. Do you want one more tale of a Vietnam girl? Want to know I was bound to a man I don't love? Do you want to be told how my village was burned? Want to hear how my family was blasted away? or anything, how would you know? In a potential adoption evolving from a foster care situation where the biological parents are either unknown or their competence is in question, the underlying assumption is not simply the preservation of a biological unit, but a consideration of the best interests of the child. For example, in parental rights termination case Katz versus Minor, 1998, the judge determined that the initial three years in which a potential adopted child was in custodial foster care was significant in forming primary attachments. The father being deceased and the mother unfit, he selected to terminate biological parental rights and award permanent custody of the child to the foster family. You're not Tom's secretary, are you? Leanne Hughes. Uh, um, daughter. And law partner. Uh, um, I'm sorry. Oh, that's, that's I, I shouldn't okay. have assumed. No, no problem. It's okay. No, yes, problem. I, I know what it's like when people assume stuff about you. I can't apologize enough. Oh, sure you can. No, actually, you already have. Well, there is one way you can make it up to me. Yeah. How? Hire me. <laughs> How soon can you start? I've uh, never gotten legal advice from a lady in an Oreos t-shirt before. Oh, that's okay. In court, I promise to only wear cubs. Hometown teams score more points with the judge. Ah, okay. So, what's our next step here? Okay, our next step mm. definitely involves... A juicy steak and a bottle of Merlot. How's that? Dinner! I mean, it's been ages since I've eaten out here in Oakdale. I mean, maybe you can show me where they grill the best filet mignon. Are, are you asking me... Or not. Uh, Look, I understand if you are totally busy. I mean, we can always meet here to discuss the case. No, no, no. I mean, I'm not busy. That's, that's not it. I mean... No, we can... Dinner's cool. Cool. Check your schedule and give me a call. I'm free. All right. I'll call you. Thanks for everything. You're welcome. In 2002, Salonga returned to Broadway to play the leading role of Mei Li, a Chinese immigrant in a reinterpretation of Rogers and Hammerstein's Flower Drum Song opposite Jose Lana, 
This was after the reinvented musical had a run at the Mark Taper Forum in Los Angeles in 2001, with Salonga playing the role and in 2002, winning lead actress in a musical from the Los Angeles Theatre Ovation Awards. Salonga's performance was received positively by theatre critics in New York, and she received a nomination for Distinguished Performance from the Drama League, among other honors. Between the 2001 Los Angeles and 2002 Broadway productions of Flower Drum Song, she performed in a non-musical theatrical production for the first time, playing the role of Catherine in the stage play Proof in Manila. This was followed by a major concert, the Broadway Concert, at the Philippine International Convention Center. The League of American Theatres and Producers and the American Theatre Wing present the 56th Annual Tony Award. Now a special celebration of Richard Rogers' 100th anniversary. Please welcome Marvin Hamlish. Miss Saigon, Leia Salonga. When I have a brand new hairdo with my eyelashes all in curl, I float as the clouds on hairdo. I enjoy being a girl. I flip when a fella sends me flowers. I drool over dresses made of lace. I'll talk on the telephone for hours. On my face. From noises off, Peter Gallagher. There is nothing like a day. Nothing in the world. There is nothing you can name that is anything like a day.
2004, Rob and I got married. Yay! <laughs> In 2003 to 2004, Salonga did her first all Filipino concerts in Manila called Songs from Home, which later won her an Ali Award as Entertainer of the Year. In 2003, she performed in several concerts at the Mohegan Sun Hotel in Connecticut. This was followed by a Christmas concert in the Philippines called Home for Christmas and performances at the Lenate Regional Performing Arts Center in Maulton. New Jersey, in 2004. Later in 2004, she played Lizzie in the Manila production of the musical Baby, which earned her another nomination from the Ali Awards. In 2005, Salonga had her first U.S. concert tour. Later that year, she performed to a sold-out crowd at Carnegie Hall for the benefit of Diverse City Theatre Company. The same year, she received the Golden Artist Award at the 53rd Famous Awards in honor of her international achievements, performed during the grand opening of Hong Kong's Disneyland and recorded two songs on Daniel Rodriguez's album In the Presence. She also did voice work for Disney's English dub of Heiao Miyazaki's My Neighbor Totoro as Yasuko Kusakabe. Salonga wrote the foreword to Linda Marquardt's The Right Way to Sing. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Philippines, please welcome Broadway and West End award-winning actress and recording star, Leia Salonga. Ayuha Sayyidatu Asada, Leia Salonga. Triumph of the One. In peace and brotherhood we stand from every ocean, every land, for many to share the victory war through the triumph.
In 2007, Salonga released her first studio album in seven years called Inspired, which was certified platinum in the Philippines. She received the Order of La Candela, with the rank of Commander, Commandant, from Philippine President Arroyo in recognition of using her talents to benefit Philippine society and foster cultural exchange. She has also received the Congressional Medal of Achievement from the House of Representatives of the Philippines. She returned to Broadway for another stint in the musical Les Mis, this time as Fantine. Her rejoining the show boosted the musical's ticket sales. President Arroyo watched Salonga in this role, together with Filipino-Americans Adam Jacobs as Marius and Ali Uold as Cosette. Salonga received rave reviews and made it again to the shortlist of Broadway.com's Audience Award favorites as Best Replacement. During her tenure on Broadway that season, she appeared in Broadway on Broadway 2007 and stars in The Alley 2007, spoke at the Broadway Artists Alliance Summer Intensives, guested on the Broadway musical 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, and participated in Broadway Cares Equity Fights Aid's 12th Annual Nothing Like a Dame event to benefit the Women's Health Initiative of the Actors Fund. Right after doing Les Mis, she performed in two events, at the U.S. Military Academy Band's concert in West Point where she sang four songs and an encore and in her own concert at the Terrytown Music Hall in New York. She was then busy with other concerts and musical events, including a Christmas presentation in Manila. In 2008, Salonga gave concerts in the Philippines, California, Hawaii, Hong Kong and Guam, and she played the title role in Broadway Asia Entertainment's international tour of Rogers and Hammerstein's Cinderella. On 3 July 2008, Salonga became a columnist in the Philippine Daily Inquirer with her column Backstory, Entertainment Section, introducing, Leia Salonga, writer. Since then she has written numerous columns for the Inquirer. She performed in Global Pop at the Music Center on July 11, 
2008, it was presented by the Blue Ribbon, a group founded by Dorothy Chandler in 1968. Salonga gave a concert on July 11th at Los Angeles Walt Disney Concert Hall. That same year she received a special citation from the WIT Awards, the Philippines version of Grammys. From late July 2008 to mid-2009, Salonga played the title role in the 30-week Asian tour of Rogers and Hammerstein's Cinderella, which premiered in Manila. Salonga performed a series of concerts in North America in 2009 and was also asked to dance the Filipino novelty dances Ocho Ocho and Spaghetti. The same year, Salonga advertised the Avon Products line of anti-aging skincare products and new rejuvenate in the Philippines. In June 2009, she sang at the 95th anniversary special of the Iglesia Ni Cristo. Salonga sang patriotic song Bay and Co at the Requiem Mass for former President Corazon Aquino at Manila Cathedral. Salonga celebrated 20 years of Miss Saigon by performing in concerts called Leia Salonga, Your Songs, at the Philippine International Convention Center Plenary Hall on December 11 and 12, 2009. Her brother, Gerard, was musical director. Leia made her debut in the world of cabaret in 2010, performing a sold-out, three-week engagement at the Café Carlisle in New York City. She returned in June 2011 to delight audiences in another multi-week engagement and released a live version of her 2010 concert Leia Salonga, The Journey So Far, her 26th career CD, in August 2011. The CD rose to the number three spot on iTunes Jazz Charts. In 2013, she did a third engagement titled Back to Before, which was lauded by the New York Times. Why be afraid of it? Let's close our eyes and make our own paradise. Little we know of it, still we can try to make a go of it. We might have been meant for each other. Now is the time for it, now is the time for it. Let's fall in love, to be or not to be. Let our hearts discover romance. Why should we romance? Oh, <laughs> 
remember Patty Oswalt's hits. Now here comes a show that brings together two brilliant artists in one stage. Patty Austin and Leia Salonga in a captivating show, Heart and Soul. Grammy meets Tony in one amazing musical concert, Heart and Soul. Patty Austin and Leia Salonga live. On April 17 at the Paris Hotel Las Vegas. On April 30 at the Sabin Theater, Beverly Hills. On May 1 at the San Jose Center of Performing Arts. Log on to heartandsoul.filipinovillage.com. Leia Salonga honored with an appointment as a United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization Goodwill Ambassador in October of 2010. Leia vowed to act as an advocate for the Youth and United Nations Global Alliance initiative led by the FAO. The same year, she also joined forces with Avon as a celebrity judge for Avon Voices, alongside such artists as Fergie, Natasha Bedingfield and Diane Warren, in the first ever global, online singing talent search for women and songwriting competition for men and women.
Salonga, along with Darren Kriers, sang a whole new world to its composer, Alan Memkin, as Memkin was named the winner of the 2011 Maestro Award at the Billboard Hollywood Reporter Film and TV Music Conference on October 24, 2011. Salonga performed in a six-concert series titled The Magic of Broadway and Disney Favorites in 2012 with the Palm Beach Pops. She starred in the first production of Allegiance, at the Old Globe Theatre in San Diego from September to October 2012. Salonga starred in the Philippine production of the comedy God of Carnage from July 2012 at the Carlos P. Romulo Auditorium, RCBC Plaza, Manila. She took on the same role at the DBS Arts Center in Singapore, in November 2012. Salonga joined the candlelight processional at Epcot in Walt Disney World as narrator on December 14-16, retelling the Christmas story accompanied by a 50-piece orchestra and a mass choir. In January 2013, Salonga took part on the 2013 season of Lincoln Center's American Songbook concert series at the Allen Room. In February in the Philippines, Salonga provided the theme song for TV5's reality singing competition Canta Pilipinas, and, together with Tyne Daly and Norm Lewis, she starred as mother in a concert performance of Ragtime at Lincoln Center's Avery Fisher Hall. Salonga headlined a concert series, Four Stars One World of Broadway Musicals, in Tokyo, Osaka in June, performing with Ramin Karim Lu, Sierra Bogus and Wayushi Rota. She was one of the four coaches, together with Apple Diab, Sarah Geronimo, and Bamboo Manilak for the ABCBN program, The Voice of the Philippines, which premiered in June 2013. In December 2013, Salonga began a concert tour in the Philippines titled Leia Salonga, playlist, that celebrated her 35 years in show business. The concert series was extended to January 2014. Salonga wrote a book, playlist, a celebration of 35 years, which she used as a souvenir program for the concerts. In 2014, she returned for the second season of The Voice of the Philippines and also joined the new Philippine version of The Voice Kids, on which she has appeared for three seasons. Salonga recorded a song called Wish That I Could Call You, that was included in the charity compilation album Children in Need, released in March 2014. For much of 2014, Leia performed with legendary popera quartet Il Devo, accompanying them in Asia, the United States, Canada, Mexico, and all through Eastern and Western Europe on their musical affair tour, celebrating the band's 10th anniversary. She can be seen on their latest DVD and CD bearing the same name.
In the fall of 2015, Leia began her critically acclaimed run as Kei Kimura in the Broadway production of Allegiance. Leia garnered a Craig Noel nomination for Outstanding Featured Performance in a Musical for her performance in the Old Globe production and can be heard on the show's original cast album. Review in ABS CBN News said that she delivers a finely tuned performance, utilizing her prodigious stage presence to provide the cold and dark shadings to erstwhile peppy scenes with her subtle stares and held back emotions. Days by days, she finally lets go of all the resentment and repressed anger of a woman stuck in a marriage built on a lie, yet there is dignity in her breakdown. Salonga pulls it off with such clarity, both musically and emotionally that it's difficult not to be moved. In 2016 she won two more Ali Awards, one for Best Major Concert in a Foreign Venue and her second Entertainer of the Year Award. In late 2017, Leia released Bahagari, an album of traditional Filipino songs. The album serves as a reflection of all the intricate and different languages found in the Philippines and aims to help preserve the island nation's dynamic culture. Leia also released her electrifying live album Blurred Lines in the spring of 2017. The album was recorded during her sold-out run at Feinstein's 54 below the year before.
The original six-date showcase was received with overwhelming accolades from fans and critics alike. So well received in fact that Leia returned to the famed venue for a record-setting 15-show encore performance in the late spring, 2017. nominee for Best Revival of a Musical has been a part of our lives since we appeared together in the original London production back in 1989. It's an epic love story set during the final days of the Vietnam War. Kim, a 17-year-old orphan, is forced to work in a bar run by a notorious character known as the Engineer. That's me. Uh, she falls in love uh, with Chris, an American GI. Uh, though torn apart by the fall of Saigon, she goes on a journey of survival to find Chris, who has no idea his father a son. Here, Tony nominee Eva Noblezada as Kim confronts the high-ranking soldier she was promised to marry as he threatens the life of her little boy. Now please welcome the company of Miss Saigon! Yeah! I swear I did my love.
gentlemen, welcome to the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women Red Dress Collection 2018, presented by Macy's and founded by the Heart Truth Campaign. from Miss Saigon, Aladdin, Mulan, Flower Drum Song, and many others. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Leah Salonga.
on Broadway, Leia most recently starred in the 2018 Broadway revival of Once on This Island as the goddess of love, Ursuli, where she received critical praise for her vocal performance. The show's return to the Broadway stage earned a Tony Award for Best Revival of a Musical and also garnered Leia and the cast a Grammy nomination for Best Musical Theatre Album. Yeah. 
once on this island. Accepting the award for Once on this Island, producer Ken Davenport. Salonga appears as a Philippine immigrant, Aunt Gail, in the musical film Yellow Rose, which premiered at the 2019 Los Angeles Asian Pacific Film Festival. I'm gonna send a flood, gonna drown a mouth. Incredible. Magical. Yeah. Awesome. It was spectacular. <laughs> We're speechless. It's really amazing. This is me. People of all ages should see Leia Salonga. Anyone young or old, like, they can appreciate her music. Amazing, talented, electrifying, fantastic, talented, amazing. We'll always come back to see her. She's mm -hmm. just so good. In 2019, she played Mrs. Lovett in a revival of Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street in Manila and then in Singapore. Critics praised her crystalline tones that turned her numbers, especially by the sea, into unexpected showstoppers. She disappears into this loud devil woman. This is by far the best musical theater outing of Salonga in the Philippines, host Miss Saigon and the very long wait was well worth it and called her Mrs. Lovett, a delirious hurricane of deviousness and devilry. Sprinkled with lust, one of the most accomplished stage creations we've seen this year, a career high for the actress, Pangan, as Todd, Simmers, Salonga as the explosive fire underneath. Currently, Leia serves as a judge on the Philippines' hit version of The Voice. Leia has toured all over the world, performing sold-out concerts in such locations as the Sydney Opera House, O2 Arena, Disney Concert Hall in Los Angeles, Singapore's Esplanade, Kuala Lumpur Convention Center, Hong Kong Cultural Center, Queen Sirikit Convention Center in Bangkok and Carnegie Hall in New York. She was also the first artist to sell out two shows at Brigham Young University's Dijon Concert Hall in Provo, Utah since The King Singers in 2009. In her 40-year career, Leia has performed for six Philippine presidents, from Ferdinand Marcos to Benigno S. Aquino III, three American presidents, George H. W. Bush, Bill Clinton, and George W. Bush, and for Diana. Princess of Wales and Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Tagumpay ng aking lipi Ang tanging minimiti At hinahangat Hangat ko'y 
tagumpay Kilang lupain at sa sama sama na Miss Leia Salonga from the United States of America for exceptional accomplishments as an international performer, which has brought recognition not only to herself but also to the musical talent and ingenuity of her fellow Filipinos. Tagumpay ng ating lahi, tagumpay ng ating lipi, ang tanging minimiti at hinahangat. Hangat ko'y tagumpay Thank you.